Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to factor these given polynomial completely. And here is our very first example. Let's start working on this one. Let's focus on this very first pair, right up here. And then we can see that between these two terms, x is in common. So I can factor out x outside and we're going to have x squared minus 1 in the parentheses. Let's focus on this second pair, these next two terms, and we can see that negative 7 is in common, isn't it? So once you factor out negative 7, we ended up with x squared minus 1. All right. Now, if you look at these things, these are same, isn't it? Over here, x squared minus 1. In both cases, I am going to factor that one out over here as well. Okay, x squared minus 1. And once we factor that one out, we ended up with this x and then minus 7. So I can put a parenthesis x minus 7. And now in our next step, x squared minus 1. In the very first parentheses, this 1 could be written as x squared minus 1 power 2. 1 squared is same as, and then times x minus 7. And now as we can see that the first parentheses over here, x squared minus 1 squared, this is the difference of two squares. So we're going to be using this well-known formula or fact. a squared minus b squared equals to a minus b times a plus b. In other words, the difference of two squares is equal to the product of difference and the sum. So that means this quantity could be written as this parentheses could be written as only this part is x minus 1 times x plus 1. So far so good. So once again this whole thing has been broken down into this part and still we have this x minus 7 over here I am going to put down x minus 7 over here and thus these are our complete factors and that is our final answer and here is our next example here we can see we have a trinomial over here and the highest power is 4 okay so here we want to make it a little bit simple by doing this substitution method i'm going to say let u equal to x square then we know that u square is going to be simply x square and then power 2 so in other words u square is going to become simply x power Four. So right now over here this part u this u x power 4 could be written as u square isn't it? So we have to be very careful plus this x square could be written as simply u plus u minus 20. Right now, we got a quadratic equation in terms of the variable u that could be easily factored out by just simply putting simply u minus 4 and u plus 5. So far, so good. And now we got u. We know that u, we started off with x squared. I'm going to go ahead and put it back, the x value. So this u is going to simply, I can put down x squared minus 4 times x squared plus 5. So far, so good. And now let's focus on this part 4 over here. And we can write this thing simply x squared minus 
4 could be written as 2 square times, just leave this x square plus 5. And now as we can see that this first parenthesis, this represents a difference of 2 square and we are going to use this well-known fact. a square minus b square could be written as a minus b times a plus b. So I'm going to go ahead and break that one down into x minus 2 times x plus 2. So once again, this whole thing has been factored out into this part and then we are going to bring down this x square plus 5 and we know that x square plus 5 cannot be broken down or we call it irreducible and thus these are our complete factors and that is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.